hello 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 guys welcome to yet another video of uh, the breaking news thank you for following me like i told you i'll be reading out uh, the comments in my next video so uh, guys keep in touch leave the comments there in my other video i'll be reading out the messages and shout outs to everyone that will be uh, following on keep subscribing keep liking uh, we have some developing news TMZ is facing allegations of hiding the truth about Didi's connection to Tupac's case. Yeah. In a shocking turn of events, the name Sean Didi Combs has been mentioned 77 times in connection with the uh, notorious murder of Tupac Shakul. This revelation stems from the prosecutor document rela related to KFD, a figure associated with planning and execution of Tupac's murder. Despite the gravity uh, of uh, these claims, TMZ has been accused of downplaying Didi's involvement, raising questions about the media outlets, integrity and potential bias. Oh my God. So, Kifdi has been uh, Kifdi, who has confessed to orchestrating Tupac's murder, has repeatedly implicated Didi in the case. According to Kifdi, his cousin was one who pulled the trigger, an act allegedly planned with Didi's knowledge and involvement. The prosecutor document highlights all these allegations, bringing Didi's name into the spotlight 77 times. The surfacing of these claims has uh, reignited public interest and speculations about Didi's role in one of the most infamous unsolved murders in hip-hop history. However, TMZ's coverage of this issue has raised eyebrows, with many accusing the media giant of protecting Didi. TMZ initially reported on the allegations but quickly issued an update citing unnamed law enforcement uh, sources who claimed Didi was never uh, a suspect in the Tupac investigation. This swift dismissal, uh, dismiss, oh my God, dismissal of Kifdi's claims has led to accusations, uh, accusations, accusations that TMZ is biased in favor of Didi, uh, possibly due to close ties with his legal team. Critics have argued that TMZ relies on anonymous sources and their seemingly decisive tone towards the allegation are problemat uh, problematic. The updates uh, stated law and uh, the update stated law enforcement sources tell TMZ Didi was never a suspect in the Tupac murder, and uh, that remains true today. However, this claim has However, this claim has been met with uh, skepticism given the gravity of the allegation and the number of times Didi's name appears in the prosecutor's document. This controversy is not an isolated incident. Didi has faced multiple lawsuits and allegations over the years, ranging from copyright infringement to accusations of assault, these legal battles have painted a troubling picture of the music mogul with suggesting uh, with some suggesting a pattern of invasion and manipulation in addition to the Tupac case Didi recently uh, settled a copyright infringement lawsuit related to his song Good Don't Die which was accused of using elements from another song without permission this settlement followed another copyright case in involving his 2010 hit uh, power further complicating his public image. The public reaction to TMZ coverage has been mixed while some uh, believe in the DD innocence, other are critical of TMZ's perceived bias. This situation underscores the importance of media responsibility and the need of unbiased reporting, especially in high profile cases involving influential figures. The question remains, is TMZ protecting Didi or the simply reporting based on available information? Regardless, the repeated appearance of Didi's name in the legal documents demands thorough investigation and transparent reporting. As prosecutors continue to derive into the details of the Tupac murder case, Didi's potential involvement remains a subject of intense scrutiny. Uh, the controversy surrounding TMZ reporting highlights the delicate balance between media influence and justice. Only time will reveal the full extent of Didi's connection to the case, whether 
the truth will finally come to light. So in the meantime, the public remains divided and awaiting further developments, hoping for justice in a case that has haunted the hip hop community for decades. So wherever you're watching us from, please leave a comment and tell me what you think is um, TMZ biased, is Didi manipulating TMZ, and uh, is Keith D lying? Are the allegations true or wrong? So leave a comment, tell me what you think, and uh, we shall start from there. Like I told you, I'll be reading out all the comments that you sent to me, be it positive, be it negative. So I'll create time and read all those comments. Thank you so much. This is Tinta Del Gracious, your host uh, for this channel. Thank you so much. Um, okay, we meet again next video.